Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Hello Dave with Down to Earth Astronomy. It is Monday, and um, that means it's time for some uh, some quick updates on well everything that's going on in Elite and on the channel. First, I need to start with something that I actually forgot uh, to mention last week, and that is to uh, I need to say a huge thank you. Um, if you watched the ten hour Elite live stream, which is now about just over a week ago. Um, where well, I played Elite Dangerous for, for about 10 hours, actually exactly 10 hours. <laughs> I, at the end of the live stream, I was testing out some uh, new weapons I fitted onto the, um, to my Corvette. Uh, and these weapons in particular were some advanced plasma accelerators, which basically are plasma accelerators with less damage, but a lot higher firing rate. Um, and I've modif just modified those on the stream, added some plasma slug to them as a special mod, so I can have more longevity in... Um, when I'm out uh, in the uh, um, in the conflict zones or rest sites uh, fighting NPCs, and what I didn't realize was how much fuel you use when you use rapid fire advanced plasma accelerators with plasma slug. So I was in the middle of a fight, and um, I just engaged uh, another anaconda, and then suddenly ship went, uh, went well everything just turned off, shield went down, life support went out, thrusters nothing, had nothing left. Luckily, uh, Cactus was close by, so he took out the Anaconda, but it took me a while, but, and I even did a, a reboot and repair because I thought I had a malfunction or something. Um, but it turned out that what the problem was I ran out of fuel because those plasma accelerators were just eating fuel like <laughs> like crazy. So I had to, um, I decided to, to call in the fuel rats, which were there in absolutely no time. So um, I wanted to make uh, say a huge thank you to the fuel rats for, for saving me there. Uh, while I was sitting there on oxygen in uh, in an uh, in the hash rest site, luckily it was not in a conflict zone. Uh, that could have gone very bad very quickly. Um, sitting there, I could not move without shields. So huge thank you to the fuel rats. If you don't know what the who the fuel rats are, um, go on Google Bob. It's a group of players who are dedicated to saving people who run out of fuel. So you can go to the homepage and you can um, call the fuel rat in for help. They will come. They will refuel your ship. And the huge uh, huge thank you to those guys. But Let's move on. Um, in Elite, uh, a little quiet, there's been uh, a few announcements from the Aegis Research Project. Um, it seems they have been working a lot on the um, on the Thargoid probe and sensor. And they say they have made um, a decent amount of, um, of progress towards um, learning how the Thargoids store and transmit data or information. Um, between each other, which is absolutely a, a huge discovery. We could figure that out because that would open up for possibilities that we might in the future begin to communicate with them. Because so far, um, so far it's been very, very one-sided when it comes to how we can interact with the Thargoids. I mean, way, way, way back before the Thargoids were uh, were introduced into the game, and just uh, I think right after the Frontier actually announced that yes, they are going to come back at some point. What they said was that when they come back, we would have the chance to either communicate with them or to go a more hostile route. I haven't really seen that choice yet, I must admit. I mean, sure, you could choose not to go and attack them, but choosing not to go and attack them is not really trying to communicate with them. I know people have been trying to launch different items, giving them probes, giving them sensors, giving them all kinds of stuff, and they will pick it up and they'll just continue on what they do. We haven't really found a reliable way to communicate with them yet, and I don't really think that's a viable uh, way for you that you can go right now. And what I would really love to see is if we could have maybe players could choose, I want to work towards uh, a hostile solution to the Thargoid problem, aka uh, killing them all, or go for a more peaceful approach where you try to communicate with them. And the longer this armed conflict um, is ongoing, it's becoming less and less likely that we're going to see a peaceful solution to something like this. Maybe we can, I don't know, share. I mean, the galaxy is huge. Say, okay, you go over there to the other end of the galaxy and you stay there and we'll stay here and we'll bother each other. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. Um, but now seeing these news coming from the Eagle Research Project that they are beginning to understand the way that they communicate um, might, I hope at least, lead on to us being able to communicate with them as well. 
um, so that so that some commanders could begin to work towards a, um, a more peaceful approach to uh, to the whole darkoid uh, problem. So that's interesting. Something that I hope we'll be seeing um, a lot more of. Um, yeah, moving on to uh, this week, I uh, last week it would be for you. I I launched a video on uh, in Kerbal Space Program. I've done Kerbal Space Program like when the channel was very young. Um, was some of the first things I uh, I did together with Elite. Um, but it didn't really catch on, and I decided to focus more on Elite Dangerous. Um, but I want to try to get back into Kerbal. I tried to launch a a single video. It was an update on flying the Anaconda in um, in Elite Dangerous, and it got a decent. Uh, a decent response back. People seem to enjoy that uh, quite a lot. So I'm going to try and do some more Kerbal Space Program in the future, um, just because I think it's a great game. I haven't played it in a while, and I wanted to, um, to try and diversify a bit more on the on the channel. So uh, that's probably going to come um, more of that uh, soon. But I mean, Elite Dangerous will always be the main game on the channel. That will that will never change uh, unless something very drastic happens. But then it's got to be something that's going to be out of my hands at least uh, for as long as it's possible i'm going to keep elite dangerous as the main um as the main topic on the on the channel so um but there'll be some some other stuff here and there okay um live stream tomorrow um as always i have my tuesday live stream as always for this past couple of months i've had my uh, my tuesday live stream um tomorrow i am planning to take out the corvettes and test out the uh, advanced plasma accelerators that i fitted doing that live stream i haven't really had too much time testing them out since uh, i tested them briefly on the live stream last time so we're going to do that again take them out kill some npcs see how they perform and just to give um give myself a little bit more of an impression of how they work and if it's something i want to go with because i'm not quite settled yet that that's the way i want to go with the with the covet as of now um but that's going to be here tomorrow, and as always, going to start at 9 o'clock DMT plus 1. So that's 8 o'clock in game time. So if you want to come by the channel, remember to um, to be here tomorrow. I'll also post a link on Discord once it's up. But otherwise, you should pop up in your subscription box if you are subscribed to the channel. And the final thing I um, I want to talk about is, um, is on a more personal note. And this is something that I normally don't do. And it's not something that's going to be common on, on Hello Dave. But... Um, but this time I feel like it has some um, uh, some resemblance to what's happened on the channel. It's actually been um, I went to an uh, exhibition uh, this weekend, and um, and there they had a, uh, a replica of something that's actually been a centerpiece on this channel for quite a while. I don't think a lot of people actually noticed. I see in Copenhagen right now there's an exhibition with a lot of the stuff from Stanley Kubrick's films. And if you don't know who that guy is, he is a movie director um, who made video films like um, Full Metal Jacket, uh, Clockwork Orange, and uh, AI, I think he did as well. Um, the Shining, of course, also a very, very known film. But the most known of his film is probably 2001, A Space Odyssey. And they had a lot of the a lot of stuff from the film uh, on display, including some of the original costumes, uh, like the space helmet that uh, that Dave had on in uh, in that in that movie. And they even had a replica of Hell Nine Thousand, which you uh, which you can see here. Which as I mean, which many of you may not have realized, but that's what's on the thumbnail of all Hello Dave videos. And the reason why the series is called Hello Dave is because it's a quote from the movie Two Thousand One: A Space Odyssey. Um, which is one of my one of my favorite movies, um, and it was absolutely great. It was a it was a, a good exhibition. Um, if you don't know, again, if you don't know who Kubrick is, uh, go Google hit the Google this guy and watch some of his movies. He has he's done some very weird stuff. I mean, The Shining is a very weird movie, and Space Odyssey is the same. It's also a little bit weird, but I like his uh, I like his movies, and uh, they even have a. Um, had a scale model hanging in from the roof of, of the spaceship in the, in that game. So oh, that game huh, in that movie. Um, but yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely wonderful. Um, I just want to share that uh, because, well, I uh, I perfectly enjoyed it quite a lot, and I think it's uh, well since the the hell logo has been on the, on the thumbnails for Hello Day for now what half a year since I started doing this again. Um, I thought it would was be would be a fun thing to mention. But anyway, um, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, give a like down below. And also next time, I'll see you guys in space.